Jefferson Parish's Economic Development Commission, also known as JEDCO, is proud to celebrate 20 years of service. Over those years, JEDCO, in cooperation with public and private partnerships, has set higher goals, produced faster growth, and built a stronger economy within Jefferson Parish. JEDCO has played the most important role in economic development in Jefferson Parish because it created the economic development strategy. I would not want to try to manage our headquarters operation at any other place other than right here in Jefferson Parish. I don't see anything uh, to hold JEDCO back. I think it's going to be upward and onward and on the greater things. JEDCO assisted thousands of companies through business incubators, loan programs, tax incentives and rebate programs, workforce development and information services. JEDCO's efforts target the recruitment of new businesses for the area. Since its inception in 1987, JEDCO has helped to create and retain jobs and generate hundreds of millions of dollars in private investment for Jefferson Parish. JEDCO's early programs included the Bid Center, its international initiative, and financing the future. Well, the motivation behind the development of uh, JEDCO back in 86 was on uh, business recruitment, uh, trying to attract both international and, and national businesses to move to relocate to Jefferson Parish to increase, em, obviously, employment and, and business taxes. Uh, subsequent to that, there was a, a lot of effort put on uh, business retention in the parish. Almost immediately, JEDCO started to change the face of business in Jefferson Parish through financing programs. To date, JEDCO has approved over 240 business loans with an estimated impact exceeding $400 million annually. I think JEDCO has changed Jefferson Parish very significantly. The amount of business that's been created in Jefferson is probably in the hundreds of millions as a result of JEDCO. In the spring of 1989, JEDCO opened its first business incubator on the east bank of Jefferson Parish, which accommodated small businesses at one location, pooling resources and allowing emerging businesses to obtain critical services at a reasonable rate. We started here, as I say, one of the main reasons was to start a facility at a low cost and start generating revenue and get the company grow from the internal uh, revenue funding and Jefferson Parish is a great facility, great, great area for that. The business incubators helped create jobs and assist budding entrepreneurs, graduating almost 200 new businesses into the Jefferson Parish economy. Since 1991, JEDCO, Greater New Orleans Inc., and the state of Louisiana's Department of Economic Development have focused their efforts to retain the parish's largest manufacturer, Northrop Grumman Avondale Operations. In our association with uh, Jefferson Parish and with JEDCO and the state has been this effort that we've done in workforce development. Lots of concern, not only after the storm, but well before the storm, of the development of technically skilled craftsmen and women. And uh, with the work, the concerted work that we've done with each other, and specifically through the assistance of the incumbent worker training grants, we have been able to train several thousand men and women, a great investment in our people, which is really the renewable resource that we have in our region. Incentives such as the Enterprise Zone and the 10-year industrial property tax exemption have provided Louisiana income and corporate franchise tax credits to businesses hiring new employees and property tax abatements on buildings, machinery, and equipment for our manufacturers. With a changing economy and fierce competition among communities nationwide and abroad, JEDCO went on the offensive to keep its resident companies in the parish and help them grow. As a result, the Business Retention and Expansion Program was launched in September 1998 and since has become one of JEDCO's most successful initiatives. 
It has been nationally recognized for excellence. In the year 2000, Jetco issued its first industrial development bond and since then has used both taxable and tax exempt issues as an attraction and retention financing tool for large projects. The uh, eight and a half million dollar revenue bond which we acquired through the Jefferson Parish Development Authority was very, very helpful in our being able to buy uh, updated, more modern, more competitive equipment in this market at a lower interest cost and therefore uh, better, better competitive pricing. The process uh, that is established with JEDCO to get revenue bonds is a very simple one and it's very easy to follow. It's a matter of uh, filling out an application. It goes before a board of approval. Uh, it was very smooth in getting the bonds approved and once the bonds were approved, it was very easy for us to get our bank to uh, finance the bonds. Jefferson Parish's first economic development strategic plan was spearheaded by JEDCO in 1999. Since the Jefferson Edge's official adoption in May of 2000, we have achieved substantial benchmarks, which have fostered a sense of efficiency and optimism in the public and private sector. Shape the strategy, help fund the strategy, and build the corporate partnerships to help make that strategy come true. The Envision Jefferson 2020 Plan, Jefferson Parish's first comprehensive master plan. The Churchill Technology and Business Park, founding of the Jefferson Convention and Visitors Bureau and widening of the Huey Long Bridge are just a few of the highlighted edge projects. The new Huey Long Bridge is going to be the umbilical cord that ties the East and West Bank together in a way that it's never been tied before in its history since really the construction of the bridge in the 1930s. This is going to be the boom for the West Bank. It's going to allow the West Bank to reach its highest and best potential in development and utilization of land. The highest appraisal of EDGE may come not from the accomplishments that were planned, but from our response to events we did not plan. In August 2005, Hurricane Katrina struck, forever changing the region, but not changing JEDCO's mission. JEDCO, the Jefferson Chamber of Commerce, and the Jefferson Business Council opened two business recovery centers, which processed over 13,000 assistance applications. They also established a Jefferson Back to Business Call Center with critical support from Atmos Energy and worked with our business development allies to conduct job fairs, a series of business recovery briefings, and informative seminars. At that time in the parish, there was really nobody in operation. JEDCO is authorized to issue Gulf Opportunity Zone bonds for qualifying projects and is actively recruiting commercial and industrial projects to take advantage of this attractive financing tool, as well as marketing the unprecedented opportunities emanating from the 2005 Go Zone Act. You see, Jefferson Parish is the growth spot of this part of Louisiana. JEDCO has not been alone. They are fortunate to have a successful partnership with the Jefferson Parish Council and Parish Administration. Working with the council, Jefferson Parish became the first parish in Louisiana to fully eliminate the local sales and use tax on manufacturing equipment and machinery. In addition, the council's creation of the Jefferson Economic Future Fund, an incentive fund designed to attract and retain companies, has helped Jefferson Parish compete for new jobs and investment. Recognizing Jefferson Parish's pro-business climate, M&A Supply relocated its corporate headquarters from Connecticut to Jefferson Parish, after JEDCO was able to offer a financial package that made the deal work. This past year has been by far the most challenging for JEDCO. They have demonstrated resiliency and sustained teamwork that have enabled them to reach many goals and to formulate new ones. Jefferson Parish is really booming in post-Katrina. Our population is back to pre-Katrina numbers. We hope to begin the growth pattern uh, in 2007. Our school population is near back to where it was uh, pre-Katrina, as well as 2,000 new businesses coming to the area. Sales tax is up over 40%. Uh, this parish has really come back in a very strong, positive way 
to help become a building block for the surrounding parishes of, of Plaquemine and St. Bernard and Orleans as well. JEDCO has its sights set for the future. The Churchill Technology and Business Park clearing and surcharge is complete. And infrastructure construction is to begin in early 2007. The park will house the Patrick F. Taylor Science and Technology Academy, the Technology Incubator, and JEDCO's administrative offices. Tech Park and the schools, I hope, will be seen as one. In, in a lot of aspects. In terms of uh, use of facilities where the school can be part of the tech part and space can be used there, or uh, the students can actually be part of the businesses there, the, the research firms and entities there, that they become one. They will have a potential market then, almost like a recruiting market for the t children who have mentored with them, apprenticed with them, studied with them, and um, it, it will be a natural flow, I think. That, that is the ultimate goal. While these projects accelerate growth of industry in Jefferson Parish, JEDCO plans an aggressive marketing campaign focusing on the availability of these resources to attract new companies and retain existing ones. To support their growth and success, marketing JEDCO's incentives, workshops, and financial programs will continue. To fuel this growth, JEDCO business leaders, the Jefferson Parish Council, and EDGE investors, under the capable direction of leaders such as Jim Hudson, Jack Stump, and Henry Shane, are working to implement strategies for the Jefferson EDGE 2010 as a blueprint for long-term recovery. And over the last 20 years, JEDCO has been focused on business development, business retention, and business expansion. And I think we couldn't have had a better entity in place and better people serving on that board than we've been blessed to have with the last 20 years. I'm very excited about the future of Jefferson Parish of what can develop in the way of new businesses and new housing developments and new infrastructure and new opportunities. I think the sky's the limit for Jefferson Parish as we look into the future for the next 10 years. And then if we do our infrastructure that is expected to be done by the state and the federal government in the next 10 years, I think you'll see this parish continue to be rock solid for many, many decades to come. JEDCO is focused on the future, setting higher goals, producing faster growth, and building a stronger economy. JEDCO, 20 years of service for Jefferson Parish.